To the makeup mess. In today's video, I'm going to be sort of trying out the Yardley London foundation. I've never used Yardley foundation ever. I'm normally a L'Oreal girl, um, that inflammable one, which is so awesome. It's just really, really love it. But unfortunately, I just wanted to try things differently this time. So went to disc camp, got this little baby girl. I hope it's the right color. And yeah, I wanted just to give you guys an honest review. Just so if you guys go in, you know whether to buy it or not to buy it um, and all that stuff. So just before you carry on watching, I'm a full coverage kind of girl. As you can see, I don't have perfect skin, so I like my full coverage. Okay, I'm not into that whole natural look. No, I like to be full on covered, ready to go. So yeah. So anyways, guys, I'm going to carry on. Just, uh, yeah, so I'm so nervous today. But yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll do more videos for you guys. Cool. So I'm gonna get started, but first I'm gonna have some tea. I need some tea. Okay, cool. So girls, I'm gonna get started. So we all know by now, um, the secret to good makeup is obviously good skin. So before I even put on my makeup, I'm gonna actually prep my skin before I put on the foundation. I'm gonna go in first and tone my skin. I made this one by myself. It's a green tea and apple cider vinegar toner, which is pretty awesome. I like it because it's homemade. There's no funny chemicals in there and it's super what affordable, which is which is really cool. So what I like about this green tea toner also tones your, uh, it tightens your skin. So I have very oily skin and very big pores. So yeah, so I'm gonna quickly tone my skin. See, we want to remove any excess oils that we don't need. If you are a girl with oily skin like myself, as you can see, I've done my eye makeup, so yeah, I'm not gonna fuss about that too much. Whoa, awesome! So now my skin is toned. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite aloe vera gel um, sort of lotion, <clears throat> which I like to use. Super hydrating and it tightens my skin as well. So I'm going to just put that there, there. And I like this because it also prevents any breakouts from happening. Unnecessary breakouts. So I'm just going to do that. Cool. Almost ready. And also, please don't ever forget eye cream. Eye cream is super important in South Africa right now. It is winter, so I get really, I don't really get that dry, but um, I will, I mean, it, my eyes, I think it's normal for anyone to sort of feel sort of dry. So I'm going to go in with my favorite eye cream and I'm going to just dab it underneath like that. No, just massage that upwards, circular motions, and swipe. I don't like to rub it in, I like it to just, I like it to absorb into the skin. So when it comes to your eye cream, you either have to tap it or just smear it once and let it absorb by itself and move on to the other eye. So upwards, underneath, tap, and then let that absorb. And then I'm going to go in obviously with my moisturizer. Go in with a moisturizer as well for the skin. If you have very dry skin, your foundation will look very, it's going to flake. It's not going to look so nice. So you always want to use moisturizer. I have oily skin. Girls with oily skin, you still have to moisturize your skin. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to just do that. I like to massage my face while I do it as well. Upwards motions, upwards motion, 
to prevent sagging of the skin. You, you sort of like killing two birds with one stone. So massage that up and then of course the forehead. Like that. I don't want to mess my eye makeup so I'm super gentle right now. I know a lot of girls also because I, when, I, when I did makeup on a few girls, especially girls with dry skin, you do tend to get dry here. So you want to definitely moisturize your skin. So when you put on your foundation, it's got a really nice dewy, glowy finish to it. And then any excess eye cream, just wipe it so it's not too heavy or whilst your concealer will not uh, blend well. Right, so normally I would go in with my sunscreen because I'm not gonna be going out today. I'm gonna be actually indoors. It's Sunday, I'm not in the mood. It's Corona, stay home. Uh, but yeah, normally I would put sunscreen, but I'm not going in, get it going anyway today. But yeah, girls, don't forget to put your sunscreen on, uh, especially girls that have pigmentation, like myself. But yeah, so I'm gonna go in with the foundation. Wish me luck. Cool guys, if you also like, you can put on a primer after this, which I have just done, I forgot to mention, just to get rid of any excess oil. Or another trick you can do is to take some tissue, to stab it on there and remove it so you don't have any excess oils in this area, which I tend to get, especially after sunscreen. So I put my little primer on. As you can see, I'm not as shiny around this area. And then I'm gonna go through now with this Yardley foundation. It looks like this. The Yardley London Stay Fast Foundation. This is for combination to oily skin. It says here that it's 24 hour wear, matte coverage, oil and shine control. And bonus, it has SPF 20, which is great. Uh, yeah, okay, that's that's quite a statement to make. 24 hours stay, but anyways, you know how you know how it is. Cool, so I'm gonna go in. I like to squirt mine first there. I'm gonna put about two. Let's see if two is enough. If you ever use a foundation where you have to keep going in and back, in and back, it means it's gonna cost you a lot of money because it's not covering too much and it's gonna finish very quickly. All right, so as you guys know by now, I like to use a brush when I do my foundation. Beauty blenders are great. I would use them if I'm doing makeup on somebody else. Oh, shh. Oh God, where is it? I think it's somewhere, oh God, I don't know where it is. Um, yeah, so anyway, so I'm gonna go in and let's see how it turns out, guys. The color I'm using, by the way, this is color M7W. Okay, cool, so here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. So that's what it looks like. My main concern is to see if it actually covers. The color is not bad. But at the end of the day, guys, it's all about um, blending. And also when you contour, you can always warm up your foundation if you feel like the color is wrong. You know, you can always just play around with that color correcting. Okay, cool guys, so I put the foundation on. This is what it looks like before I blend, right? Looks a bit like hectic. It's got a bit of a red undertone, very slightly. Uh, so yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna blend now and see what the finished result looks like. Blend. Don't forget the neck. And girls, the all for the beginner girls, when you blend, you always want to hold your brush at the bottom of the brush. You never want to hold the brush here because then you're going to end up being very hard on the skin. If you want a flawless airbrushed look, you hold it towards the end, just like a quarter down, and then you blend through because then you get a light stroke instead of a very harsh stroke. And you just push it into the skin push it into the skin it's makeup guys so don't be afraid you can always correct it it's not the end of the world and another tip the more you blend like this the more of an airbrushed look you get so don't be afraid to put in enough time 
but I will say as well be careful to not stroke your skin like that or whilst you create micro I think it's micro abrasion but basically you just you, you actually end up exfoliating your skin and then your skin becomes very textured instead of having that smooth airbrushed look all right so you don't ever want to do this continuously to your skin you'd rather dab in like that to really get that flawless look and to not be too harsh on your skin as well they don't call it beating for nothing hey? i hope you guys can see my lighting isn't so great i'm just really trying my best and then that's what we have cool guys i'm gonna stop right here oh this is what the makeup looks like the yardly foundation I don't know what do you guys think I think it's got a bit of a red undertone would I buy this again mm, I probably would but it wouldn't be my first choice from a pharmacy this would not be my first choice but in any case this is what it looks like I'm gonna finish my makeup quickly add some concealer warm it up with some contour and then let's see how it looks with the finished 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 result all right guys so just stay tuned and yeah <laughs> Well guys, so I'm officially done. This is what the foundation looks like once everything is done. Uh, concealer, contouring, a little bit of shimmer. And yeah, hope you guys like it. <laughs> yeah guys, anyways, hope you guys like it. I actually am happy with it. I would give this an 8 out of 10. Yeah, no, I'd give it an 8.5. It's a good foundation, really it is. Uh, it's really not too bad. Especially if you like girls that really want that full coverage. Um, it has a, it does have a matte finish to it, which is awesome, which also means you don't have to worry about putting powder afterwards. I don't, I don't even put powder, um, except for underneath, translucent with the concealer, but I didn't put any powder to set the foundation, which is awesome. I love that because it's me, it means less product on the skin. It's easy to go. Just It's just simple. So yeah, here we go. Hope you guys like it. I gotta go and take a long bath with a glass of wine yeah cool guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video cool guys anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe anyways y'all but don't forget to like and subscribe so i can make more videos um and all that jazz leave your comments below let me know what else you guys want to learn and how we can make this world more efficient with makeup okay i'll take that back hold on what does that even mean ah uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye